Hi, Batty Boo here with another Living Dead doll review and today we're doing another Trick or Treater uh, part of series 18 and it is the Witch Ember. So, the coffin is your standard Living Dead doll's coffin uh, with orange tissue paper, nothing special about that. So, the clipboard. The clipboard is there, just hopefully you can see that. Right, so the clipboard, I love the Series 18's clipboard. I think it has a nice Halloween-y feel with the uh, blue sky in the background with the, the trees with no leaves and the moon and the pumpkin patch. I also love how they've done the a picture of the doll on the clipboard with the mask on. So that's just in case you want to have, uh, you want to keep her in the box and have the mask off or display her with the mask off. You've still got a picture of the doll with the mask on. Uh, if you want to do that. So that is the clipboard. I love the Series 18 clipboard, but that's just my opinion. Right, so on to the doll. Right, so the doll, we've got your standard Mary Jane Living Dead doll shoes. Uh, she's got these really nice, thick, cotton black and green tights, with striped tights. Uh, the dress of the doll, is it's got these nice light green um satin uh parts in it like pleat parts uh the dress uh the material on the dress the black material is like this kind of blazer cotton material uh the dress on the bodice there is some green um lace ribbon it gives a Nice effect. The The dress is all one piece. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Uh, it all velcros at the back here. So you can take this outfit off. Uh, that's about it on the outfit. Um, on to the... We'll go on to the face paint. This doll is really, really nicely detailed face paint. You've got the burnt, melted effect. Um, it does have even some feel effect to it as well as look. It has a, a sort of rippled melted burn effect uh, to the touch. So it has got a feel factor as well as a great looking factor. Uh, it's got nice airbrushed shadings of orange, pink, a bit of purple that looks like bruising on the sides. Really, really nicely airbrushed doll. Really nicely done. Really gives it that burnt... Uh, burned at the stake effect. The teeth of the doll, uh, you've got one side which is a nice skeletal teeth effect and then one side which is black lipstick. Gives the gives the effect that uh, it, she's been burnt that deeply that uh, it's actually gone to uh, burn her lips off. Which is really sad. So she's a, just a trick-or-treater. <laughs> right, the eyes, I love the shading, the black shading around the eyes. It gives a real hollow uh, hollow effect, hollow dead effect. Now this beautiful orange and um, pink shading goes all the way around, even on the body and, and the hands. I don't know if you can see the hands of the doll. The hands, both sides. And all over the body, I don't know if you can see a bit on the chest. And all around, all around the head, this lovely burn um, shading effect. Really, really detailed. Really love this doll. Love how they did the airbrushing. Now the hair, don't worry if you think yeah, you've got a bald doll, you have not got a bald doll. It's intentionally like that. I like how they did the little strands to give the effect that the hair was burnt off and and it gives it a really nice, uh, really nice effect. Now you will on the, there will be a patch on the doll, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's uh, there will be a, a ring around the doll's head. Unfortunately all the Living Dead dolls have that and uh, obviously uh, they probably couldn't airbrush it off uh, but you can't really see it that much when the hair goes over it so it's fine so that is ember uh now to the accessories she actually comes with quite a lot of accessories uh you've got the nice trick-or-treaters witch mask now i know there's one doll in series 18 
that does have a glowing mask and that's Gabriella, which I've also done a review on. Uh, but the mask is your standard trick or treaters mask. It's, uh, it's hard plastic, it has a little tie at the back you can put around the head. Uh, so the mask is the usual trick or treaters mask. I normally display mine with them holding the mask, but that's just me. You might want to decide to put the mask on. So, because uh, she's a trick or treat, she comes with your standard Living Dead Dolls trick or treat basket. That's always one thing I love about the Living Dead Doll trick or treaters. They come with these really cute baskets, and I just love them. And you can actually put sweet, like little sweets in there if you want to give it a real, real effect. But uh, that, that's just that's just what I do. <laughs> Right, so she also comes with a hat. She comes with a black, uh, made out of the same material, like blazer material, material of the dress. Uh, it comes with a nice green ribbon with a buckle on, really traditional witchy, witchy trick or treaters hat. And but bear in mind when when you put the hat on the doll, if you leave it a while, it will give you black staining on the doll's head. So I like to have mine. Uh, either in her hands or um, in the coffin at the side of her, uh, you will get some black staining on the head, the doll of the head. I mean, the head of the doll <laughs> with the hat, so be careful of that. So, I will put the <coughs> hat on the doll. It's a bit of a snug fit. Ooh, hairs it were. Right, there we are. So, that's what the doll looks like with the hat on. Really lovely. Really lovely effect, gives you the real trick or treater effect, Halloweeny effect. I love it. It's um, it's amazing. It is one of my most favourite dolls, Amber. But that's just my opinion, of course. So I hope you have a lovely day. I will be doing some more Living Dead doll reviews soon. And uh, well, that's it. Bye.